Brian, tell us about what Fox is accused of here specifically. Uh, profiting off the lies, the big lies that followed Trump's loss in November. This is the second lawsuit from a second voting technology company targeting Fox. You'll remember Smartmatic sued Fox, Rudy Giuliani, and Sidney Powell for $2.7 billion. That case now beginning to work its way through the system. Now, this is Dominion, which was falsely accused of being in cahoots with Smartmatic to rig the election. Remember Dominion voting systems? That's the ballot counting company that is suing Fox News and a host of its hosts for defamation. Well, Dominion just subpoenaed the employee performance reviews of Tucker Carlson and a litany of Fox News hosts. And you'd not believe how the judge ruled. Welcome into TYT's Overruled. I am your host, Adrian Lawrence, with the deets, of course. Indeed, in its $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit, Dominion Voting Systems is demanding Fox News turn over the performance reviews for hosts Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Maria Baratiromo, Janine Pirro, and Lou Dobbs. Basically, the main host Dominion's accusing of airing false election fraud claims. Now, according to Dominion, the reviews would bolster its claim that Fox maliciously booked former president Donald Trump's attorney Rudy Giuliani and former Trump campaign lawyer Sidney Powell to appear on its top-rated shows, where they spread false claims that the company rigged the 2020 presidential election. As you'd imagine, Fox News does not want to share how its superiors rated Carlson & Co. for their on-air commentary. So the media juggernaut claimed that the reviews were not relevant to the lawsuit and that the request was overly broad. And the judge agreed. In his ruling on Tuesday, Judge Eric Davis of Delaware State Court said that the reviews are about as personal as it gets and that Dominion's request is too intrusive, without further explanation on why the reviews might help Dominion's case. Now, you may be wondering what party that judge is a part of, and I can tell you there's nothing partisan about it. Judge Davis is a registered nonpartisan who is also appointed by a Democratic governor. As such, he may just be doing his job. And from a legal analyst perspective, it seems that Dominion really could take a more effective approach here by arguing that the reviews are highly relevant to whether Fox News was encouraging its hosts by giving positive performance reviews, notwithstanding their willingness to promulgate propaganda. Because if Fox News is giving Carlson & Co. the thumbs up for their on-air antics, then that would warrant holding the network accountable for maliciously spinning facts and really pushing misinformation and propagating disinformation. But, you know, I'm not on Dominion's legal team, so all I can do really is argue points with you. But if you'd like to see how or whether Fox News really rated its big name host well, you still could see that because Judge Davis ruled that Fox News and Dominion must work together to sort out this discovery dispute. Basically, Dominion's going to have to narrow its request for performance reviews or come up with a better reason for seeking the reviews. And it just may do that. So that is it. How do you think superiors at Fox News rated Carlson and their good old boys on air network of hosts? Would you love to hear those thoughts? I'd love to hear yours. Leave your comments below in the comments. Hit the like button, hit the follow button. Thanks for watching.